<laughs> Holy I thought we were gonna get stuck there for a second. Yeah, I'm still hearing explosions every now and then. Okay. This is where I have to be careful. What is up guys? Thank you for watching Franco Travels. So today I'm gonna be doing something extremely dangerous. I'm actually gonna be going to the mountain where I always tell you guys, if you ever see this mountain and you're in Peru, you're probably in a dangerous area. Well, I got a ride that's gonna take me to the top of this mountain and uh, I don't know what's up there. I think there's like this big cross that's up there and you're probably gonna be able to see the graveyard from way up high. I'm hoping I don't get robbed doing this adventure because chances are very highly likely I could get robbed. I just finished eating. I'm in Jesus Maria and uh, I'm gonna see if I can start waiting for my ride to come pick me up to start this crazy journey. Let's get into it. So today is not so busy. It's actually for me, it's a Sunday, February 4th. My birthday finally passed. February 2nd was my birthday and I had one hell of a birthday. I got to relax, play some video games. I got to buy myself a little present, which I don't know how the hell I bought it because I don't know where to stash it. So I'm gonna have to give away at least 80% of the things that I have on me because they're probably gonna rob me at the airport. Right now I'm trying to see if I can make my way to the location where I'm gonna get picked up. But I wanna look around, see what's around this area before I make my way up the mountain. This is this little shopping area I like to go to. When I get that, amigo. I also want to see if my friend's here working today. He is not working today. <laughs> Probably later on at night. But this is where I wanted to get the gas so I could spray these bandits in the face if they try anything. Is that the Leatherman Ark? No, if they sold that, I'm going in. So, of course I was wrong. It appears my friend did not make it in today, which sucks. I'm gonna have to go without spray paint. I mean, pepper spray, which I totally wanted, but I guess I'm not gonna be able to have because he's not there. So in the meantime, let me see if there's another store I could probably find that would sell me pepper spray. Because I really don't want to go to this place without any pepper spray. Oh, it's solamente for me, mamá. Para ver aquí, ¿está bien o no? No? Okay, está bien. Gracias, amigo. So on second thought, I just got kicked out. They don't want me recording in here. I never had an issue with it before, but nothing ever lasts forever. So that's out the window. Buenas, que estar? Hola. So now I'm gonna find my way to another area. The other people didn't really seem to care, but there's always that one person that just, it's an issue. So I'm still trying to see if I could find another kind of bootlegged Chinese store where I could be able to buy some pepper spray or something that could help me with today's adventure. Because if, worst case scenario, if I have to go without any pepper spray, then I'm gonna do it. I will get up that mountain, but I just would like some pepper spray. Because people are getting robbed and shot there all the time. And here comes my butt that doesn't look anything remote to my surroundings going up there with the camera. Okay, so I've been at this for about 30 minutes. No luck. I'm not finding any places where I could even get a pepper spray at. I do have a knife, but I really don't want to use a knife because sometimes when you're in a fight and you have to use a knife, the other person doesn't even know you, they got stabbed and they still keep attacking. I want the best thing that's gonna stop an altercation. Again, it's pretty much pointless if the person's got a gun, but I'm running on the assumption that they don't. Not too long ago, like a couple of months, Peru's kind of always known of just always being cloudy and uh, kind of always kind of blocking you out from the sun. But lately, it has been so hot and there's never a cloud in the sky anymore. That's, that's in the past. And apparently two months, uh, I'll be out of here and I'll be in a different place. I don't even know where I'm gonna be at yet. But uh, I won't be around to see the change in weather. So I'll kind of be enjoying the summer for as long as possible. So I found this. They got tasers, gas spray, 42 cents. 
Let's see what else they have. I love the compasses. I think I have a compass somewhere on me like that. Look at the knives. These are probably cheap metals though. You could cut like a piece of wood like three times before they start to break. But I do like the tasers. 65 soles. Hmm. Ooh. That's like a sex mask. You can use that for if you ever want to play pretend and stuff. All right, so I think I might go with 500k volt, 500k volt, if it's actually true, because sometimes it's not even 500k, it just sounds creepy. All right, I'm gonna go with some pepper spray and maybe a taser. No, no, no. So this is the brand that I got. It's called Police, but I looked it up online and this is a very, very bad brand. But whatever. I'm hoping there's some, you know, I don't even care if it's onion sauce at this point, but just spray something. <laughs> JG Wentworth. And this is the taser that I bought. Super high voltage, delicate appearance, and inner charger and high powered LED light. Whatever, it'll work. In case someone tries to get in the car or something. So at this point now, I'm gonna see if I could go ahead and uh, get my driver to come pick me up. And I make my way to the mountain. Which, God have mercy upon my soul, because I don't know how dangerous this is gonna be. But it could be a lot dangerous than what I'm expecting. Probably more dangerous than what I've seen before. Maybe something happens. Not that I want that to happen, but it might. Right now I'm in the car. I'm making my way to the mountaintop, but we're gonna be driving into the dangerous area in just in a minute. I'm with my driver. If you recognize the car, I did rent this car in another video, but I can't show his face only due to the fact that he knows the area well. He knows a lot of the people out here. So if he gets caught telling me about a lot of the people over here or certain dangerous areas on camera, then he could get in trouble. And of course, I don't want that to happen. So right now I'm making my way over there. And I think in a little bit, I should be seeing the mountain. Ah, that's the mountain right up there. See it? That's where we're heading. That little burial area right up there is where it gets extremely dangerous. So right over there is the Rio. This Rio is where I was at in my other previous video. But uh, yeah, now that I'm crossing over is where it gets a lot dangerous around through here. Aquí es donde tiene mucho choro, ¿verdad? Sí, acá es muy peligroso. A partir de las seis hay que venir de, con cuidado por acá. Hay policía, pero son los choros también. La, la policía también en los choros. So basically he's telling me that even the police out here are considered bandits as well because I'll pull you over and they take the money from you. So right now we're starting the incline up to the top of the mountain here. That's it. And so far despite what I'm seeing, I thought it would be worse. But that could change any moment now. Again, I'm seeing this in daytime. At night is a completely different story. A tuk tuk. He's got a navy shirt on. El tenía un camisa de militar de Estados Unidos. I don't even want to be that obvious recording in the car, but I don't really have much of an option. It's either to record or not to record. I already made the decision to do it.
stuck there for a second. Está poniendo más chiquito. The roads are getting smaller and smaller and it's starting to stink. It smells like sewer. Like I feel like at any moment people are going to start throwing rocks at the car or something. This is a lot higher than where I was at on the cross. Am I still 400 feet? Oh, look at that. There's like a little statue up there. Let's see if I can take the... Here comes another tuk-tuk. Every time you see these crosses, he's telling me that every time you see these crosses, I forgot to mention this earlier, but that means someone passed away here. They're like tombstones. Wow. Feels like I'm on an airplane. Another cross. ¿Y por qué mucha gente mueron por aquí? Accidente. ¿Y se caen? Oh my God. So he's saying that a lot of people die up here because of accidents. And I guess they fall off the mountain. En el Cerro San Cristóbal. Hasta el momento nos han señalado que hay nueve muertos y hay más de 30 heridos. Se despistó, ahí lo vemos en la imagen. Ese bus de la empresa Green Tour, las imágenes previas a la tragedia, en este cerro cuando iba de bajada y en el momento mismo del accidente, ahí vemos eh, no solamente aparatoso sino trágico, iba repleto de turistas, este tipo de eh, recorridos turísticos y ahí vemos la desesperación de la gente que pudo observar el momento mismo de esta tragedia. So I've made it to the top of the mountain. Those are all the little pueblos in the bottom here. And if you guys don't recognize it, that right here is the cemetery of Presvito. That's the cemetery I go running through at night all by myself through the whole place. Look at this, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. Look at that. Let's go in a little bit more. That's the cemetery. And as you can see, it's pretty much empty. There's usually security on top of that bridge. That's actually where I started, right over there on that bridge. That's the train station here. And then I make my way in. And that's the huge tomb there. Wow, this is amazing. So far, it doesn't look as bad as what I was thinking. I was thinking there was gonna be motor taxis everywhere and being warned about every location for how dangerous it could be. But this is the whole cross right in front of me. And it's actually pretty surreal. I wish it could be here at night just to see how it is. But it does look like a bunch of people come through here to take pictures. Pretty much people that live around the area. They're from around here. Let's see if I can fix the, there we go. This is where they do their prayers in here and stuff. Look, there's even one candle on on the inside. Right there, of a, I guess a saint or a priest. Municipal de Rimac. Francisco Arambio of M. I don't know what that means, but. I've made it towards the other side. It looks like I'm on a freaking airplane. Look at the view. Come out through here, you can see the island. That's the island I want to be able to visit. There's an abandoned police station or a prison right at that island up there. I have people that just pulled in behind me. Oh, this is absolutely amazing. Hola, que pasó, corazón? Hola. Look at this little angel of happiness. Oh, 
Hello. Oh, that is adorable. The cat looks sick, though. She's got something on her neck. I wonder if she was fighting or something. Hola. Hola. So at this point now, I want to wash my hands up because I touched a cat and I'm already getting like this thing that you get on your eye. I guess if you don't get good sleep at night, or if you stress out, or maybe you get a bacteria in your eye, you start getting what's called like a suerte or something. That's what they call it over here, it's called a suerte. And uh, you start getting it in your eye and it starts growing and you get like a small pimple and then it goes away. I just went through it and I think I'm going through it again today, which I don't know why, I've been taking care of my eyes. I put some antibacterial stuff in my eyes, so hopefully, it doesn't stay for too long, but you can't touch it no matter how much it itches, because if you do it, you can irritate it, and it gets worse. Still can't believe that I actually made it up here. I had like seven people that I called, including Ubers and taxis. No one, despite even the price that I was trying to see if I could drop so they could get me up here, no one wanted to take me up here. They were saying it's too dangerous and that it's not worth it, that they could get their taxi stolen or whatever. I'm so happy that my friend, that literally rents out the car to me at times to get to places, was able to let me come up here and, and do this video. But oh my God, I think it was well worth it just to get up here. I kind of low key want to kind of walk through the areas, but that's where they're really strictly telling me not to, that it's dangerous and anything can happen. So I have to be careful. So this is the road that we just drove up on. Wow, you could even see the shipping ports way out there. I know I'm zooming in and out on my camera a lot of times, but the view up here is, literally amazing oh I just heard an explosion and I've been hearing explosions for quite some time early in the mornings because of the military base Jesus this has to be the best view I've ever seen and I am still hearing explosions every now and then but I don't know what part of the military base it's at it should be somewhere over here might I live that way, but I think the base is further that way, unless there's another one that I'm not too certain about. You heard it? Oh, I see smoke. I see smoke as well out in the distance. Kind of hard to believe that this is one of the most dangerous mountains in Peru. But right over there is a the smoke that I'm seeing. Zoom out into it. It's just about sundown, and it looks like that's a could be a factory or something and then right out through there are the shipping ports see all the boats those are the fishermen that bring in a lot of the fish that they sell here that's I actually fly over that with the airplane and that's that famous island that I want to get to if you look right there at the front that is Callao and at the very tip there I did, I also was there at one point too. I went over there. That looks like Miami. It's very beautiful. You got the ocean breezing in left and right, but it looks like that mountain is so high that it's already hitting the atmosphere. There's like this little gate over here. It looks like a bathroom or somebody's house. I'm not too quite sure. There's a little cat and a dog. So I'm assuming it's probably somebody's house. I'm, I feel out of breath. I'm not even that high in altitude. And I feel out of breath. Wow. Peru is absolutely amazing, especially Lima. So right now we're making our way down the mountain, which I really want to see because you have no idea how many times I get warned about this place. But look at the view. Like literally, if there's somebody speeding through here, and they make this sharp turn super fast, you're not even gonna have enough time. And this is probably why a lot of the deaths happen right here, because the other person swerves out of the way or they get hit and they go right over the hill and down to the house. <laughs> Mexicano, Colombiano, 
So now I'm getting into the barrios. This is where I have to be careful. I'm not going to probably be sticking my phone out like I just was. So now they're telling us to go down this way, which is the opposite way that we came in from. So I'm not too sure. This isn't the way we came up. But it might be just, it might be something else. Ese lado es diferente. En otro carro subiendo o motor. A little nervous because usually I only go up the same way I came up. I would have went the same way I came in here. But they look like it was super normal to kind of continue this way. These are the barrio areas that you want to be very, very. Ay, ay, ay. Eso fue fuerte. ¿Están en nudo? ¿Y por qué miras así como nosotros no puedes bajar por aquí? The guy in the room is looking at us. I don't know if you saw it on the camera, but he was staring at us like we shouldn't be coming through here. So difficult to drive through. Look how close we're about to even. They're like about to kiss. Is how close they are. This is that soccer game I was showing you guys off the mountain. Alright, so I've now made it to a party right down off the mountain. I'm, I'm kind of pushing my luck. I feel a little bit safe, safer than what I was thinking. But if you see right up here, that's the mountain. I'm right next to it. And over here, it seems like they're doing like a religious function for a church. There's a lot of music coming from the other side here. Now, technically, I'm not supposed to be here if I'm not from around the town, which I'm not. And as you can see, I already got yelled at being called gringo. Now I see they do this a lot around little town areas where they re pretty much do these little ceremonies and carry over a saint. Look at the ladies in black, right over here you can see them. They're like carrying candles or they're like carrying candles or something. I'm not sure, but there's like these creepy ladies dressed in black with drapes covering their heads. It literally feels like a funeral going on today. Like the vibe is very down. It's weird, but there's no body. That's definitely not a funeral. It just looks like a ceremony for like a saint or some priest that might have passed. I don't know. I don't really know what's going on. If you guys know it, let me know in the comments below. But I am going to make my way a little bit out of this area because there's some weird guys kind of right through the area there. They look like they're on drugs. So right now, we've already made it out. Um, that was a little bit anxious. <laughs> like I felt like my butt was pretty puckered up there for a little bit. But right now, I'm on the main road, not too far from the graveyard is. So we're going to go to a place called Asia. And Asia is where I want to be able to check out and uh, kind of explore with you guys for the rest of this video. But I was definitely warned not to come here, but I did it anyway. 
right up there, the very top of the mountain. Everyone knows if you see that mountain, you're in danger. One must not go there. So I've made it away from the area and I've made it to a little town called El Pueblo. And it's closer towards the ocean, but it's a little bit quieter in the back of the town here. He'll be fine. I passed by him like that. He don't complain. Buenas, que estar? Buena noche. He's what you call drunk. He drank too much wine and got too sick. Can't get up from the sea. I feel like I'm in Italy. Got the little boats over there. I wish you could see a little bit clearer. Minus the darkness, but this will do. Looks just like how I kind of see it on the maps. This is like a little inlet. Water comes through here, and then out there is the rest of the ocean that goes out. Thank you guys for watching Franco Travels. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This is by far one of the kind of the cool ones that I like going. So I wasn't expecting the mountain to be that beautiful and that nice just being able to pass through there. Um, it was a little bit dangerous going up the mountain, but not as dangerous once you've reached the top. It's just kind of going through the Pueblo area is where some of the locals could be a little bit dangerous. Not the locals, but the, you know, bandits that are kind of scattered through there. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And until then, I will see you on the other side of the world if I make it there in one piece, hopefully. See you guys in the next adventure. Bye guys.